clans have fallen, and now only the western regions of Lordaeron stand defiant before the ultimate supremacy of the Horde. As the Orc clans prepare for their final massive campaign against the weakening alliance, the War Chief sends you ill tidings. Gul'dan and his Storm Reaver clan have betrayed the Horde and coerced the Twilight's Hammer clan to set sail and search for an ancient tomb said to be buried beneath the waves. An infiltrator under the direction of Doomhammer reports that Gul'dan has indeed raised volcanic islands from the ocean floor and thus has opened a hidden vault. While it is unknown what the Great Warlock has released from this tomb, the War Chief has issued this command. Destroy the renegade clans and return with the head of Gul'dan. Now this level, even though interesting based on the lore, is incredibly difficult. You have to take on two Orcish clans, and on top of all that, you know, you need, you're, you need to do a lot of naval battles in order to get there. With only islands as bases. Um, so, before I get into the strategies of this map, an interesting thing to note is that uh, this is the part where Gul'dan got ripped apart by the demons of Sargeras. And uh, also, thanks to this, this is the reason why the Horde lost the... Um, this is why they lost the war against the Alliance. Now, had Gul'dan, the Storm Reaver clan, and the Twilight Hammer clan not abandoned uh, uh, Doomhammer and their last invasion of Lordaeron, yeah, things would have been a little bit different in the game of Warcraft. But, you know, you can say thank heavens it happened this way, otherwise the game probably would have ended with a victory for the Horde. Okay, so, as for strategies of this level, um, you have these these zeppelins, they are needed, but they are needed for the top of the base, uh, for uh, the top of this map. So, um, what needs to be done is secure two islands as quickly as possible. This one being the first. The second one is going to be a little bit more of a fight to secure, but not difficult at all. If approached directly, of course. This is the second island. Now, as you can see, there isn't much. I'm going to use them to... Ah, oh, shit, my timing is out. There we go. A little bit of a trick that can be used in order to take down certain units in this game. As you can see, they've got a Death Knight, and that is a major problem, especially if you have um, a lot of units. So... Um, yeah, I'm just collecting myself at the moment. The, the primary problem about this level is the fact that they've got a superior navy. I mean, they've got all of the oil, they've got almost all of the everything, so it's it's really a massive problem. You need to have buildings placed strategically, you should not focus on your navy too early in the game, and uh, yeah, like I said, secure that island as quickly as possible before they get their troll destroyers and stuff upgraded to a high level. Naval micromanagement helps a lot. Okay, I'm not even going to bother to take that tower out this way. I am rather going to circle around and bait that Death Knight to inflict damage. I want him to waste his death coil. There we go. Perfect. Worked out perfectly. Also, you don't want to have too many extra units. I mean, it's it's nice and everything, but no, just you just don't want them. Get a clear catapult shot on that Death Knight. I didn't kill him. I'm surprised. Okay, 
Oh yeah, Death Coil heals Death Knights. Frustrating, but true. Uh, it's fine that it killed all of my ogres. I'm not... There's no need to be really concerned about their... Um, their transport attacks. They, they never really attack on land. They, they try to annihilate you with... Um, oh fuck, I forgot about this. They try to annihilate you with ship attacks. So... Towers... Well, not really towers. Catapults are going to be your best friend. You will see eventually, their ships are gonna stack like mofos. Oh yeah, and use this island for building your farms, otherwise you're just going to end up wasting a lot of space. In fact, all of your upgrade buildings and swords can be built right here. This is a level that takes a while to get up and running. So, bear with me on this one. Speed things up a bit. It's gonna be needed. Yep. That is what I was referring to. Catapults will be your best friend. That is a loss I didn't want to have. That is a loss I didn't want to have. Mm. Not good. Seriously, not good. That was an incredibly expensive loss that I just suffered. But no matter, it's still the beginning of this level. Lord, oh, sun, sun. 
Reason for upgrading my trolls, they've got demons in this map, and demons, they're not incredibly strong, they just, you know, their um, attack rating is quite fast, so it's, yeah, safety reasons, you want to have a couple of trolls. Actually, no, it's not needed at the moment. annoying when they shoot my, sh my peons down. Actually, I've got a better guy. Oh, shit! What range? What damn range? See what happens eventually if you hold out for long enough, they run out of oil and resources and gold and everything for that matter. So it's it's the kind of level where you need to decide, are you going to hold it out and spend as little resources as possible in order to wipe them out afterwards, or are you going to engage them? Of course, engaging them is a lot more difficult. See, the oil that you want to get is located over here. It, it's, it's far away, as you can see. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot, you know, see, see the, whether I'll be able to get away with creating a shipyard. I mean, I do have more than enough catapults. And I can build more if necessary. Oh.
Well, we're gonna have to take this trance. But I accept the fact that chances are high that they're going to destroy it for me. I expected. Yep, I knew it. I knew that this would happen. We can try to bait them. Bring them closer to my base. So it's, it's better than nothing. Follow me, you son of a bitch. Follow. Yeah, so I'm gonna run out of gold very, very soon, but I still have a shitload of gold in reserves. So that counts for something at least. And I think it's time to explore their side of the map. As you can see, they control this map when it comes to Navy. They completely. Yeah, and I think there's going to be an attack soon. And Mr. Gul'dan with his demons are located here. Oh no, wait. Turtles. Turtles can win this one for me. I completely forgot about the turtles in this game. Not very durable, but oh, do they pack a punch. Like I said, voila. I would love to. Oh, I need the work complete. 
There we go. I have more than enough turtles to do to protect my oil platforms. Now, all I need to do is uh, gain naval dominance and I can start attacking their bases. Oh yeah, uh, something to note, you don't need zeppelins if you're going to use turtles or submarines. Ah, shit. accidentally quit this game. That was close. Troll destroyers, and we're ready to go. The attacks are becoming fewer now as well. You sank my destroyer. Anyways, we can start by engaging. This can be our first landing pad. We have secured naval dominance.
For safety reasons, uh, build your your platforms on top of these patches so that they can't reconstruct them, and then you know you have to afterwards go look for each and every building and unit. It just helps a bit. This is what the destroyers are really handy for. Damn it, that Death Knight is now out of reach. Alright, so... We can commence our attacks. position. One of their death knights. Okay, to speed things up again. And 
this is what you need the sappers for. In order to break through, because there's no other way you're gonna get in. Oh, shit. Oh, we can get in. Alright, so where is my... Ah, there we go. So what I like to do, since Chogol and Gul'dan both are here, we're going to slow things down, and we're going to see if we can gun them down. There we go. With Gul'dan out of the way, it's a whole lot easier to do this. Okay. So in order to take these demons down, they will primarily focus on my. Um, they will primarily focus on my trolls. Ah, not my trolls, my ogres. So it shouldn't be too difficult to take them down, unless of course my trolls funnel. There we go. As you can see, demons really don't do a lot of damage, so they they shouldn't concern you at the least. Ah, oh, you lucky son of a bitch. around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. They don't stand much of a chance against... Um... Oh man... I might be able to one more shot. Ah, uh, yes. Brilliant. I think that is the naval problem. Alright, let's speed things up. going to be a very long video. Now remember that there's an ogre over here. Do not forget about this one. I once spent, I don't know, 
five extra minutes in order to figure out that there is one more unit waiting here. That's literally the cleanup process. That should be mission accomplished. The completion of one of the most difficult levels in this game. Alright, there we go. And that, if I have it correctly, is the third last level of the Orc campaign. Thank you very much for watching. You know, this is a little bit of a lengthy video, but you know. Bear with me, I unfortunately can't really cut out stuff in order to make the video a little bit faster. It's, you know, this is a tutorial video after all. But anyways, you know, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for The Siege on Dalaran.